Uh, what's up guys? Happy Monday. It's about uh, 10 a.m. here on Monday. I am at the warehouse. I have a lot of orders to ship out, so let's get to work. I guess we can start in uh, the yarn section. Uh, I sold a couple of things here and I think they're all on the shelf. That's very convenient. I sold uh, two of these uh, big twists. It's the same um, color scheme. It should say watermelon and it does. And I sold my last two of the mainstays. I sold this one and this one. And then I sold a one pound Karen uh, in Taup. I think that's how you pronounce it. T-A-U-P-E. Dove Taup, something like that, right? And then we have Dove Taup. So this, these all sold. As you see, I narrowed down the yarn even more now. So I have it just like on three rows. That's all the yarn I have. So yarn is moving. Let me tell you what these guys sold for. So these guys sold for 16, this sold for 15, and these two sold for 14. So I'm pretty happy with the yarn sales. Next, I gotta pull my video game sales. I hope I remember all of them. I sold another one of these, The Longest Journey. I talked about this uh, last week. I sold one of these, these were Salvation Army purchases. I paid a buck for them. You can tell on here, the sticker's still on there. Um, and they had them for a while and they weren't moving, but they both sold this week, so that's pretty cool. Sold that guy. I sold this Frogger uh, for PS1 game. This is a storage unit find. I got nine bucks for that. I'm looking for some games here. I think it's these four. Yeah, it's uh, all of uh, college basketball. These were uh, a purchase that I made on Facebook Marketplace when I first started reselling. I bought 50 uh, PS2 games for $40 from somebody. And I sold most of them. These were pickles, which means they weren't good enough to sell by themselves. But I lot of them up and I got 14, uh, not 14, 16 bucks for these four games. So pretty happy with that. I'm actually looking for Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk right here. I sold Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. Um, I gotta, I forget what they got for these two, but um, they were separate. Uh, these were separate buys. Somebody bought this one, somebody bought this one. I'm not sure what I got for them. I'll tell you guys soon. And then I sold a PC game over here, which is this Disney one, but I don't remember what I got for this one. This one I bought at a, a church sale for 25 cents. So I'll, I'll tell you what I got for it. You see here, Frogger sold for $9. The Longest Journey sold for $9.45. Um, the lot of NCA games. You can see how long I had it again. The tables in, my, in the background that I had this for a while sold for $16. And then uh, Tony Hawk sold for $12. And Tony Hawk 4 sold for 9 plus 4 shipping. I don't know why I charge them so much for shipping. That's interesting. And the Disney Princess game sold for 12 as well. So pretty good uh, video game sales. Pretty happy with all that. Next, I'm going back to my media section because I sold the Blu-ray that I forgot about. It was the Insurgent, which is right here. Um, this was from the Blu-ray unit, brand new sealed Blu-ray. I got $12 for this. Next, I'm looking for some phones. I sold uh, two phones. I sold a, if I can find it, that would be great. I don't know why I put the box on it. That was my fault. Um, this, it's an LG something. <laughs> uh, it's an LG phone, I tested it working i got 32 bucks for that and i sold an iphone which should be somewhere here maybe down here probably down here yes right here i sold uh this iphone 4 i think 5 maybe i don't know 
uh, but the iPhone sold for 32 bucks as well. So pretty good to see two phones growing up. Uh, these are both found in storage units. Um, they were my death pile of items. Finally tested them. I made sure they were working and sold them. Next, we got a pretty heavy sale. I believe it's up top. Oh no, by the feel of it. Yes. So this thing right here, it's a Toshiba laptop. I sold it as broken for parts and I still got $75 out of it. This came out of um, a big buy I had for 50 bucks, which included this uh, PS3, a, a Xbox, uh, some games. It was a really good purchase for me. And um, you can see there's some buttons missing. It turns on and stuff, so but I still sold it as um, broken for parts. And I got $75 for it. So that's a pretty good, pretty good sale. Another electronic sale. I sold this boombox. This guy, it's a Philips uh, boombox. I tested it to make sure it works. Tested the radio, the tape, and the CD. They all play. Um, this was a storage unit find. Um, I was thinking about selling it locally, but I sold it as sell online. So I listed it and I got 60 bucks for this guy. So pretty happy with that. Now I'm looking for an orange uh, toothbrush holder. Yes, you heard that right. It's this right here. Cool little guy. Um, orange toothbrush holder. It's orange and it's an orange. Um, this is gonna be a pain to ship, but uh, it sold for $25. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, now I'm looking for an Xfinity router. This was a recent storage unit to find. So it should be up here. Hope this is you. Yes, you are. So yeah, this was in a recent storage unit. It's an Xfinity uh, router. I believe I um, found a power supply for it, tested it, it works. Did my message to it saying, hey, it's tested and running. If it doesn't fit your system, I'm not liable. So hopefully it's gonna be all fine. And I got $30 for the router. Got a small little sale here, but hey, a sale's a sale. I'm looking for an Epson ink cartridge. Uh, color is black. I got this at a yard sale for 25 cents. And it finally sold and I got $8 for it. Okay, now I'm looking for a old looking radio. This is also in my def pile of electronic items that are finally listed. It's this thing right here. Also tested it. It's working. Get the cord. Um, I'm not sure where it came from. Again, it was in my def pile of storage items. If it wasn't a storage room somewhere. Um, but this is a lesson why you shouldn't have death piles because <laughs> this thing sold in probably like a little less than a week. Let's get right here sold and I got $58 for him. I got 58 bucks for this guy and he was in my death pile. <laughs> so uh, yeah, get your death pile items listed guys. You can get some real money for them. Next I'm heading over to my Nintendo pile and I sold uh, five blue uh, shells for the NES. It right here should I have five of them and I do these guys right here I'm um, just five clear plastic blue game shells nothing too crazy um, but I got 20 bucks for this so pretty pretty happy about it. another flea market item here and I'm not sure where I put it should be somewhere up here but it also could not be Yep, it's here. Cool. Good memory, Paul. It's this um, uh, ashtray. Also looks super dope. Uh, Death Blue. Um, I sold a bunch of Death Blue stuff already from the storage unit. Purchase pretty much anything that you see that has like blue and uh, windmills on it is usually a Death Blue from Holland. And it's pretty, pretty collectible. So this ashtray sold. And I got $19 for him. Uh-oh, guys, it's time to find a book. <laughs> so this might take me a while because I don't have these sorted in the best possible way. But I'm looking for babies for something. I'm hoping this is it, but may not be it. <laughs> Let me go look at the listing. 
nope, that's it. Um, sold it for 20 bucks. Yeah, I had that for a while. That came out of a storage unit I bought last, I'll say September. That's the one in Ridley Park. It didn't have an elevator. I was complaining about going up the stairs the whole time. Um, but um, yeah, there's a bunch of like baby and boys stuff in there. And that book was there and that book finally sold. I got 20 bucks for it, so I can't complain. Okay, the last item before we go to close is, I think it might be an ornament. I'm not sure what it is, to be honest. Here. Um, it's a hinge collection accessory. Um, yeah, like <laughs> this. Lee Max Waterwell. Um, this came in a storage unit as well, and this little guy sold for 10 bucks. Okay, now we got some clothes that sold. First thing that sold is a pretty dope looking hard rock um, sweater, which I hope is here. Yep. It's like a vintage casino sweater. Um, just hard rock Las Vegas on it. Um, this came out of a storage unit. My first storage unit that I bought in 2020. And uh, I got $30 for this, so that's pretty cool. Next, we're looking for some shoes. Um, I bought like three lockers on one day. I don't think I was recording then or not, I'm not sure. Um, but this came out of a storage locker that I paid $10 for, had a bunch of shoes in it. So these aren't in the best shape, like bent and stuff. And I posted all that and these shoes still sold for 20 bucks. <laughs> so I am very happy about that. So 20 bucks for these guys. Next, looking for some old Navy shorts. These are, should be new with tags. They're here. Here they are, the tags. Um, these came out of the old Navy unit and I got $23 for these shorts. Hey guys, don't sleep in old Navy. <laughs> Old Navy can produce you guys money. It's, it's crazy. Next, I'm looking for our H&M pullover sweater. We should be in the H&M bin. It's a brown sweater. Where are you? Sweater. There you are. Found you. So this sweater and then a pair of Levi's. Uh, Levi's should be here, I believe. They're like studded Levi jeans. Uh, there they are. Yeah, so these jeans, this sweater, both came out of the American Eagle unit. And I got $16 for the sweater and $19 for the jeans. And then uh, last eBay item, is a hat that I got from the Old Navy unit. And it's a Phillies World Series hat. This guy right here, this, came out of all the, this guy came out of the Old Navy unit and I got $21 for him. So this is it for eBay. <laughs> a lot of eBay stuff to pack. Now let me go to Poshmark. So Poshmark, we're going back to the hat section because I sold two hats on Poshmark. It was a bundle purchase. I love bundles on Poshmark. And they're in this bin. So yeah, these are all my new uh, with tags or just new without tags hats. So I sold, yeah, I sold one of each. I sold this Volkswagen hat and I sold this Volkswagen hat. And I got $35 for the pair. Uh, they were both yard sale purchases and I got, uh, I, I bought them in a bundle. So I think I had like 72 cents or something per hat because I bought like 20 plus hats from the guy and I paid 15 bucks for it. But um, yeah, pretty, pretty happy with that. So this and that I sold to the same guy, uh, $35 total. Next, I sold a Banana Republic sweater, which is down here. There you are. Go back in. So yeah, I sold this Banana Republic sweater. This was a Goodwill purchase. I paid a dollar for it <laughs> on Goodwill Sundays. And this thing sold for 17 bucks. Next, I sold some 
CP3 Jordan shoes. These guys right here. These are also from the Old Navy unit. And I got $30 for them. Next, I sold a uh, Free People shorts, which are here. They're pretty cool. Free People shorts. Um, Free People denim shorts. Uh, I got $20 for these guys. And they came all the way back from the Burberry unit. So I had these guys for a while. And they're finally sold. And then I had some ceramic sales on Poshmark. I sold this cute little sugar canister, which I hope will get to the buyer safely. Look at this guy. This guy sold for 30 bucks. And I'm really worried about the butterfly up top. Might have to put it like this maybe when I ship it. I think I have to do it like that. Bubble wrap that and put it this way. But yeah, this guy sold for 30 bucks. And then I had a, a bundle sale. I sold two mugs, a C mug and a B mug. Here's the C. This guy. And then these over here this guy and then I saw some utensils utensils as well so these two mugs and these guys and I got 50 bucks for that on Poshmark so that's it for sales so yeah that's all the sales a lot I think I had 28 on eBay 9 on Poshmark so that's 37 which is insane for me I had over a thousand total in sales over the weekend which is very good as well. Um, so I hope it continues. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of work. That's why I started at 10 instead of starting at 12 for packing. But let me get to work and get him out the door. So uh, while packing, I sold another um, item. By the way, Artem's here. Oh, I thought you were talking to yourself. <laughs> Just you and the other. Artem always thinks I'm talking to myself, but. Um, I sold a core cardio one right here. So this guy, it's a T25 replacement. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> I sold this. Uh, I talked about this on my Instagram uh, earlier this month. I found a T25 in a storage unit. I was missing some um, some CDs, so I didn't sell it as a full thing. And the full one sold for like $20. But I saw replacement discs were selling. And this is the third one I sold already. I'm again, 10 bucks each for these guys. So it's a little tip for you guys. Sell these as replacement discs. They sell. This guy sold for 10 bucks. And the mask, I'm meeting somebody at Home Depot for a, a bike that I'm selling. This guy just went on a two mile bike run to test it out. I haven't seen him in 10 minutes. <laughs> He's still testing the bike. So I really hope he likes it. And um, I hope he comes back. I've been here for over five minutes and I still haven't seen him. His car is still here, so I know he hasn't left. Uh, but this is quite an experience. Never happened to me before. Uh, hopefully he's somewhere around. There he is. He's coming back. 